Hey y'all, today we have a Pen 5500SS that's, it came in because the bail flip was weak on this, and it is weak. And I think I did a video a few weeks back, or some time back on this, that it's not always the bail flip uh, or the spring that's the issue. Uh, in this case, it actually feels like the spring is the issue because everything around here seems fine. Uh, but the reason I'm showing this video is because That's super nasty. And I wouldn't even look at this stuff if I didn't have the parts for it, but I do have the gears. Uh, so my first thought would be the gears, but the thing is, is that it's not always those things, right? It's not always what you think it is. So we have to check everything first. All right, so let's check the gears first, make sure they're they're fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe they're fine, but we're just gonna double check uh, just in case. So I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna get this drag knob off too, just while we're here. Get rid of that stuff. So I'm going to open this up by removing these four screws on the side here. I'm going to pull that up and check this out. i got to remove the, um, the shaft before I can remove the gear. You know I'm gonna do all this stuff right here and I'm gonna try to take it out without removing the shaft. Ugh! All right, it didn't work. There goes that. Pull this down and let's see how it looks. And I really am only doing this because uh, we as human beings would have a tendency to kind of go to the first thought and it's usually the right thought so it doesn't need to, you don't need to go much further than that but uh, this is a kind of a just in case moment so you may never see this video because if it's just the main gear or the gears then I think I've done one of those already and you'll never see it I'm looking for something this And I'm only going to do a section of this gear because that roughness felt the same the entire way around. So if part of it is good, then, you know, this doesn't look bad. All right, uh, let's try this. Ooh, we still got it. And we know it's not going to be the pinion gear because that's not touching anything. That's just rotating around. So. It's going to be the dog system, even though that works, or possibly the pinion bearing on there. So that's good stuff. You might see this video. Let's leave that there. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this rotor and see what's going on under there. And even though I looked at that gear and said it looked all right, you can't always tell. Uh, but it did, it did look all right there. So I'm glad I checked the rotor here on the rotor spin and see how that felt. Ugh. Eey. All right, we're gonna pop this off because it can't be this. I'm thinking maybe the leaves were touching this or gripping this too hard. It's not that. So we're gonna pop this off and see if the, um, and it's not a leaf system. That's why I'm saying that. See if the, uh, Where's my thing? If the bearing's bad, which I'm believing more and more as we go. Come on. Now to access that, I'm gonna take these two screws out, pull that cover off, and then check. Most definite signs of possible wear inside the bearing. If you can see all that rust and stuff right there, see that? I'm gonna pull it off and just double check it. I feel it. 
sad part is you can't always hear it. I'm trying to make your hair, but you can't. Where are you? Can't hear. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out, put a new bearing in, come back to you, and see how it sounds. How about that? Let's see. Oh man. Crazy how good that sounds, huh? So instead of uh, uh, changing out the gears on this, which is much more expensive, or can be much more expensive, just the bearing. That's always good news. There's some other stuff on here that needs, uh, needs a dressing anyhow, so it might be kind of pricey to fix, but that was a simple fix instead of the, uh, instead of the gears that we were thinking about initially. Uh, we can double check this even further by sticking the gear in uh, and I think I'll do that just so you guys can see it and see how it sounds. Let's see how that sounds. Uh, while I'm screwing this in, if, if you did notice, I'm sure you did, that I did not put in the dog inside when I did when I put everything back together or uh, before I was about to test it out. That's because I don't need it. Um, I just needed the spacing to be accurate uh, for the rotor versus the pinion stack. That's it. There we go. Like a brand new reel. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel as well and hitting that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I put a new video out. Besides that, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time.